all the points that we will be talking now, they apply in a prevention mode and in a reactive or cure mode. So if, you, if everything is going fine with you, it's a great time to invest in those mindset in conditioning your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Good? Okay. Now, the first thing that we need to realize is to have a right understanding of where we are. To get the right GPS coordinates. Okay? So, for example, if you want to get to Niagara Falls and you think you are in Mississauga and the journey is going to be very quick, that's not true. You're not in Mississauga. Likewise, if you want to get to Niagara Falls and you think you're in Chicago, you're still way off the point. So understanding where you exactly are is very important. So sometimes some people think that, oh, everything in life is going so bad, I'm so depressed, so on and so forth. So it's very important to contain the situation, to not overreact, as well as to not underreact, but to get a good sense of where you are. So sometimes when you go to hospital, or if you accompany someone to a hospital, they would ask you on a scale of 1 to 10, how painful is this? So that's for you to capture that, look, it's not like I'm feeling pain that I would have felt if it was like 9 out of 10. So you're containing the situation and also you can measure results. So sometimes putting on numbers is very important. So understand where you are today. Then the next thing is, from any of these points that we'll be talking about, and whatever you select, whatever you choose to implement, have some sort of a check-in. Have some sort of a means of checking your pulse. So for those of you who run a business or have seen someone running a business closely, they would do their registers, they would do their balance sheet nightly. So they want to understand what's going on, how is my sales, how are my expenses, and so on and so forth. So if you have decided, for example, if you decide from today's lecture or the entire conference, right, the first day of the conference was about having a relationship with Quran. So if you decide that I want to read a page of Quran every day, then you should be checking in. Did I read it today? And then tomorrow, did I read it? And if the answer is no, then you start thinking about why. Maybe because I don't have a set time for it. Maybe because I have some sort of misunderstanding. Maybe because I think that I should not be reading the translation. I don't know. Whatever that is, when you don't do what you wanted to do, then you will evaluate what you wanted to do and why it did not happen. So have a mechanism of a daily, weekly, monthly, or annual review of what you are doing and how, you're, how well you are progressing with whatever you decide to implement. So from this talk, from the entire conference, from any book that you read, any workshop that you attend, if you choose to implement something, have a check-in uh, procedure. Then also look at your efforts versus the results that happen. So if you chose some things to implement, see, see how you are feeling in terms of your emotional mastery now. How frequently do you get angry now? Or if you do get angry, how well do you manage it? How many times you make bad, bad decisions and so on and so forth. 